It's the Broadly Entertaining Podcast for all you fem broads, them broads, and dude broads out there. Thanks for letting us entertain you. Oh, God. We've got... <laughs> <laughs> We've got fun games. Oh, no. It's feminism. It's coming at you. Let's party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the Broadly Entertaining Podcast. Hello, friends. I am Jonna, and I need a hobby. Hmm. I am Jamie, and I have some research to do before I go around quoting people. <laughs> y'all it's december 2022 you made it (laughs) yeah you did and so did we another long year that also just flew by because as we have mentioned before time can be a real trip (laughs) it sure can uh and i was thinking jamie that we could do a little year end slash new year exercise inspired by the women mean business event that we did in october oh yeah that's a great idea that sounds lovely a little little looking back to look forward reflecting back to mm-hmm. see into the future <laughs> sure precisely <laughs> that's right that's that's it uh let's talk about experiences or lessons from this year uh and and what we're going to take into the night into the new year bleh, 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 into the new year yeah uh for yeah, about four let's... to six minutes let's chat okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right timers at the timer click uh yeah i will say for the four to six minutes we're gonna chat i have put at least four to six hours into mm-hmm. thinking about what reflection or experience i wanted to share that i've learned from and i'm not 100 percent sure that i've landed on something <laughs> that i'm happy with <laughs> Yeah. That's, Maybe all right. that's my lesson. <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. Uh yeah, this is this is something that has uh come up in therapy, which is where I'm pulling this from. Um I I've I gave myself a narrower version of this assignment than was probably necessary, but this does tie into a uh, uh, professional experience. It also is just a personal a personal lesson and goal, um, which is appreciating my own value, uh, you know, knowing what, uh, what experience I have and what uh, expertise that gives me, uh, appreciating my own value as an individual and that my experience is valid and worthwhile um, and, and being able to s- s- be assertive enough to say what it is uh that i want and not let feeling dismissed by other people shut me down Mm -hmm. um and so i think my big my big lessons from this year are just continuing to recognize who i am and who i want to be and where those are the same and where there is work to be done you know to go in the direction i want to go yeah I'm for it. <laughs> Thanks. You always have my back. I do. Whatever, whatever, all of it is good, and I'm for it. So I'm actually glad that you, um, that you kind of greased the wheels, as it were, because you and I have both been trying to be better and just like know more about ourselves. So what I was going to say is just that is like I've been, I've been doing it unsupervised. However. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it totally unsupervised. Um, I'm glad you're doing it supervised. Uh, but with the digging comes a lot of, you know, you unearth shit when you're digging. And so it's just been, I feel like a lot of discovery and a lot of like, oh, this is what this means. Oh, like all of those things that you got to mm-hmm. do in mm-hmm. order to heal. And um, 
Uh, and so what I want to take into the new year is just maybe some actions tied around these discoveries. Well, that's great. And we're focused yeah. to make ourselves better for, for our external world. Yeah. Um, amen. Which is, that's always been the thing. Yeah. That's always been our thing. <clears throat> Yeah. 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 We're just getting better at it. We're getting yeah. better at it. So fingers crossed or, you know, whatever prayers or superstitions people believe in that uh, we move forward with all of that in mind and we grow as we go. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, okay. So continuing on that same theme, what a coincidence, I have put together <laughs> A little game, a little New Year inspired <clears throat> trivia game for you if you're up for it. I'm I'm always I am always up for it. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, so get ready. This is real or fake New Year traditions from around the world. Uh, I am going to give you a place and a New Year tradition and you just have to guess whether it is real or fake. Okay. Okay, here we go. Number one, a short quiz as always, just a few. <laughs> Number one, multiple traditions found in Greece involve the door of the home, including hanging an onion above the door to represent continued growth and blossoming and a pomegranate thrown against the door to scatter seeds, the more of which are spread, the better. Is that real or fake? I'm going real for that one. Yes, yeah! you got it right. That is real. That is real indeed. Uh, there was also something I saw about mossy stones being inside or outside the door and stepping on it with bare feet and then mm. somehow it might have tied to the pomegranate uh, uh, tradition, but I couldn't quite research enough and I didn't want to just, you know, list all of the things I found. So I'm just <laughs> with those couple. There you go. Uh, all right, number two, number two, wearing polka dots is a common practice in the Philippines. Not just in general, remember this is a new yeah. year tradition. Um, no, not It real? is real, oh. that is a real tradition. They are, uh, it's a symbol of luck and prosperity that may be tied to round being the shape of a coin traditionally. Um, awesome is a bit of what I found out of where that comes from. And number three, your final question, your final question. In addition to being New Year's Day, January 1st marks the successful culmination of Haiti's rebellion against French colonizers. And Haitians all over the world mark the occasion by making and sharing soup jumeau, a squash soup that was previously cooked for and only eaten by the enslavers. It is a thing. It is. Yes, Yay! it is real. It is I was gonna, real. I was going to say it's true, but it's like a lamb stew. <laughs> oh, right. Just, that was that was how I made it false. Yeah, no, that was real as well. Oh, cool. Um, I started, you know, started looking things up and then um, realized I was very uncomfortable with the prospect of making up any potential yeah, sure, cultural sure. traditions. I thought it was just better if we could learn real stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Good choice. Good choice. Thank you. Um, and of course, all of the above mentioned uh, uh, traditions are easily found in multiple sources on the internet, which is how I researched those questions. Hopefully it is all accurate. Um, <laughs> if any of it tickles anyone's curiosity, you can definitely find more information online or at your local library. And if you happen to know that anything I said is incorrect or incomplete, or you just know, have more personal experience about it, send us an email, broadlyentertaining at gmail.com and uh, let us know. A voice memo would be great. We'll put it in an episode. Up next, a word from our sponsor, Broadly Entertaining Weddings. Yeah. 
love is love is love is love is love is love and it's also a beautiful motivation for marriage from true elopements to big parties with all your friends and family on the dance floor broadly entertaining is here for you from new york to texas to the destination of your dreams broadly entertaining is now booking weddings for 2023 and beyond with a team of ordained ministers, event planners, and coordinators, musicians, and DJs, we are ready, willing, and able to support you. From traditional to unconventional, heartwarming to hilarious, or short and sweet to a multi-day festivity, it is our honor to bring your vision to life. LGBTQ plus couples should ask about our SCOTUS special. A portion of your ceremony officiation fees will be donated to the queer focused organization of your choosing. Visit broadlyentertaining.com slash weddings to learn about all our services and rates. Reach out to start the conversation today. You can find us on The Knot, Wedding Wire, Zola, Last Minute Wed, and more. Read our five-star reviews on Google. Broadly entertaining weddings. Because love is universal, but your love is unique. We're back and ready to celebrate all the things that are good and female in our Be a Feminist shout out. Can I kick it off this month? I'm going to kick uh, it off this month. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Will not have it. Oh. <laughs> nah, you're always yes handing me. I am. It's my, uh, dare I say, we were trained to. <laughs> you dare. You dare. <laughs> um, yeah. So I am going to keep it short and sweet this month. Um, I have I have to be a feminist inspired by your to be a feminist last month. Yeah. Um, but they're both very short. I just wanted to first shout out that Brittany Griner is back home yeah. in the United States. Woo. Yes. And I know that there are trolls on the Internet and dudes getting angry about shit, which is always the case and complaining, like trying to devalue the life of a queer black woman basically is my my left wing takeaway um but you know why her and not someone else or she's only this kind of athlete not that kind of athlete um the only reasonable response i heard even partially was uh you know sure that's fine that's all well and good but now can we legalize marijuana in the united states um which you know tangentially connected but not inaccurate but yeah. yay Brittany griner is home yeah. um i've heard a bunch of coverage about it and she just sounds like she's doing really well happy to be back around people that she can speak to um you know she was not fluent in russian and that's all they were speaking in the penal colony um and you know thank god or whomever or whatever thank the diplomats um for for getting her out and not having to serve that ridiculous nine-year sentence so yay Brittany griner is home yay. and uh part two totally unrelated i was out at the pet store earlier today and I was wearing this new sweatshirt I got from the Texas Equal Access Fund that says, fuck abortion bans. Mm -hmm. And there is an older lady who saw it when I was leaving the store. I was carrying a bunch of stuff. And she was like, what does your shirt say? And I showed it to her. And she was like, I love that it says fuck. And I was like, that is wonderful. You never know. You owe uh, an older white woman in Texas where you that conversation know. is going to go. <laughs> So that was exciting. I told her all about uh, T-Fund and that they have a store and she can go shop. And she was like, Christmas presents. And I was like, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, feeling feeling good about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yay. That's nice. Good, good human experiences. Uh, yay. Um, <laughs> Uh, mine is also short. I, I had a little shorty today, too, uh, in our ex ever expanding knowledge building attitudes that we have. Um, I stumbled across this 
year old, but I think still pretty relative uh, guide to understanding gender identity terms. And I thought that it would be a cool thing to share on this segment because it's, it's a part of feminism. Like we've been for the five years that we've been in business, we've been so woman focused and I think that's great. And we are women. And so let's like, obviously and that's awesome. But I think part of feminism is shining some light on, on not just people that identify as women. Um, and I think that just knowing these terms are really helpful and just helps everybody to be more inclusive and, um, stop hating yourself or misgendering somebody on accident, just fix it and move on and all those fun tips and tricks. And so we have a link for you in the show notes that I would like to share. It's from npr.org from, I think it was June. Yeah, it was Pride Month 2021. Wonderful. Yeah, that's fantastic. That is definitely yeah. not out of date. That is one hundred. <laughs> uh, I don't know. These things, things move fast, which is great. I think I, I oh. it's not like a dig <laughs> at all. It's um we are just we pro we're, we progress in, in lightning speeds these days and mm -hmm. um i think that's mm -hmm. probably a net positive for our species look at us go but it is it is daunting when mm -hmm. you are the person in transition all the time so um you know no shade for not knowing this stuff um it took me a year to find this article but it's uh it, it's helpful mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah absolutely uh, as tony morrison said Oh, uh -oh. Or was it Maya no, Angelou? Yeah, you're gonna have uh -oh. to. You bet. No way. Up, so I don't. I can't yep. miss. I can't misquote. When we know better, we do better. Yeah, is the quote, and I may have misattributed it, and I apologize. When I know better, <laughs> I'll do better. Uh, well, thank you for a fun year, Jonna. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, thank you for always being so supportive. Thank you, listeners, for joining us on our journey. Check the show notes for links, a transcript of this episode, and more information on broadly entertaining events and offerings mentioned in today's show. The Broadly Entertaining Podcast is produced and hosted by Jonna DeGesso, me, and Jamie Rossler of Broadly Entertaining. I compose and perform all the music, plus I handle the audio editing. I draft the outline and the transcript, plus a video version for YouTube. If you like what we do, please rate, review, and follow us in your podcast feed. Tell a friend. Word of mouth is priceless, especially for a small business like ours. If you love what we do and want to help us keep doing it, you could Venmo a tip to broadly dash entertaining or click the support button <laughs> or click the support button at anchor.fm slash broadly entertaining. And of course, you can hire us to host or plan your next party. Yes, we're based in New York State, Central Texas, or anywhere you've got an internet connection. Go to BroadlyEntertaining.com to connect with us and learn more. Happy New Year, Broads! and having fun and sharing our fun with uh you know the eight of people that listen so. hey sheila hey mark <laughs> nice nice ian and v I know you're out there. Yeah. it's the broadly entertaining podcast